Section 3. Using Databases In any business, you will need to keep track of large amounts of information. Many organizations use Excel to store and manage databases. While there are many full-featured database programs available, these can be complicated and difficult to learn. Excel has the advantage of being a simple, easy to understand and quick solution for creating databases. Whether it is a personal list of phone numbers, a contact list for members of an organization or team, or a collection of coins, cards, or books, an Excel database file makes it easy to enter, store, and find specific information. Cindy has a lot of supplier and customer information to manage. For example, she has lists of suppliers with the contact information of their sales representatives. She has lists of her products and information about what is on the shelves and what has sold well. Cindy will use spreadsheets to create databases of this information. Let us start by looking at tables. The basic format for storing data in an Excel database or any database for that matter, is called a table. In a table, data is entered in rows. Each row of the table is known as a record. Each column is called a field. The first step in creating an Excel database is to enter the data into the spreadsheet. When doing so, it is important to ensure that it is entered correctly and accurately. Data errors, caused by incorrect data entry, are the source of many problems related to data management. If the data is entered accurately in the beginning, your database is more likely to give you back the results you need. Create the table. Once the data has been entered into the spreadsheet, it can be converted to a table. Drag across the table cells from the upper left to the lower right. Make sure that you include the column headings. With the cells still selected, go to the ribbon and select the Insert tab. Then click the Table button and you will see a Create Table dialog box open. While the dialog box is open, cells A2 to J14 on the worksheet should be surrounded by a moving dotted line. This line highlights the area that has been selected and it is often referred to as the marching ants. If the correct range of cells is selected, click OK in the Create Table dialog box. The table should be surrounded by a dark border and have drop-down arrows added beside each column heading. You have now created a database. Using the database tools. Once you have created the database, you can use the tools located under the drop down arrows beside each field name to sort and filter your data. Sorting data. Let us begin by sorting some data alphabetically. Click on the drop down arrow next to the contact name field. Select the first menu item which will sort the records alphabetically by contact name. Once sorted, check your data. Bill Wilson should be the first record in the table and Tom Jones should be the last. Filtering data. Sometimes, you may be looking for subsets of data. For example, you may just want to see suppliers from New South Wales. Or may you just want to see the suppliers with 60-day payment terms. Showing only the information that you are interested in is known as filtering the data. Let us filter some data by state. Start by clicking on the drop-down arrow next to the state field name. Let us say that we only want to see suppliers from Victoria. Uncheck the Select All item in the drop-down menu. Then select the Vic item by checking it. Then click the OK button.
the database has been filtered. Only three suppliers should be visible since there are the only three located in Victoria. To show all records again, click on the drop-down arrow next to the Scape column heading. Click the Select All Items so that it is checked. Click the OK button. Filtering data. All the data should return back to normal. In this example, the records in the database were in T deleted, they were just filtered to show only the ones that we are interested in. Filtering will become a very important feature when you have large amounts of records in your databases. That is the end of this presentation on creating a database in Excel 2007. Keep practicing using the examples in new learner guides.